Hi, I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Today we're going to be talking about tips on getting outside your comfort zone. Being in your comfort zone is probably one of the most boring and probably dangerous places that you can be in terms of making progress in this life, right? Um, being in your comfort zone means that you're not changing at all, right? It means that you're quite happy doing what you're doing and continuing to do what you do. And the likelihood is that instead of making any progress in life, you're going to start slipping backwards slowly and slowly, right? And it's extra dangerous as soon as you add a toxin into the mix, whether it's alcohol or any other drug, right? As long as you're happy enough doing that, you know, you're happy enough sitting on the couch, sipping your beers, drinking your glass of wine, smoking your cigarettes, maybe having a few doobies every so often. This is something that will constrict your life, you know, in the sense of while you're doing that, you can't do something else, right? As I said before, 27,500 days in the average life, 27,500 days. So every day you spend doing that, every hour you spend out of your face on some drug, right, is time that you can't spend doing something else, doing something that's progressing your life, you know, making your life better for you and for everyone else around you. You know, I'm not saying that you have to be outside your comfort zone all the time, right, that you have to be in this discomfort zone and you have to be pushing yourself onwards and onwards and onwards, right? There's a time and a place for everything, right? There's a time for getting yourself and pushing yourself and then there's a time for bringing yourself backwards and relaxing and taking it easy, right? Um, I've been doing a challenge for myself, a personal challenge this year of three and a half thousand kilometers from January until the end of the year, right? And um, I'm on track to, to do it, but it's been very difficult, right? Because I never figured into that uh, mix that I would be taking any rest days. I thought, no, I'm getting out there every day, 10 kilometers every day, and um, at the end of it, I want to be able to do this. Now, I've had to do days where um, I've done 10 kilometers, but a lot of other days where I've done 14 kilometers because I couldn't do it every day, you know. I had to take breaks. I had to not only take breaks because I wanted to relax and to just do nothing and to sit down and just watch television all day, um, not have to go out, out of the house and not have to talk to anyone, not have to do anything, just to zone in on myself, be with myself or just to be with myself and Esther and just to recharge my batteries, right? I'm a, uh, an introvert, so introverted people always need to be more on their own to recharge themselves. And um, I find a lot of that when I'm walking, so I've no problem with that, but it's the actual getting out there every day and doing the 10 kilometers. So um, even though I'm gonna achieve the goal, uh, next year I'm gonna reduce it a little bit just to take that into account. So there is nothing wrong with you taking a break and saying to yourself, right, today I'm just gonna do nothing. Today I'm gonna waste this full day just doing nothing, just watching reruns of whatever show you like to watch, you know, or watching old movies or watching whatever, you know, playing video games. You know, you have to understand that you're not gonna get anywhere if you do that every day, you know. Moderately have your days off and then for the rest of the time push yourself, you know, push yourself to do the things that you wanna do. So how can you get outside your comfort zone? What are my tips? What would I do? The thing I'd tell you to do is to try something new often, right? And it doesn't have to be something big, right? A lot of people think, yeah, getting outside my comfort zone has got to be sort of getting and standing on the edge of a bridge and, you know, tying a, a bungee cord around my ankles and jumping off the bridge or jumping out of an airplane or doing, uh, coming down the side of a cliff or going deep sea diving or doing stuff like that, right? It doesn't have to be like that. You know, it can be very small things. It can be so small things like just eating something different when you go out next time, choosing something from the menu that's different. When I go to the Indian restaurant, I always have a vegetable biryani. I have a naan bread and I have the papadams. That's it, every single time. Or I also have the um, madras sauce and the thing. No change, right? And I do that for week after week after week after week, right? This week I went down there and I ordered something completely different. I can't even remember what it was. And it was delicious. Um, it wasn't what I normally have, but it was delicious. Um, you can read something new, right? You can watch 
uh, a movie that you wouldn't normally watch, read a book that you wouldn't normally watch, pick up a magazine that you wouldn't normally look at, you know. You can um, choose to watch a different TV channel, right? Um, you can choose to cook something instead of eating out. You know, you can take a day where you don't look at Facebook or Twitter or your email account, take a day where you completely go offline and you refuse to look at the internet at all. You can take a day where you leave your phone switched off. You can take a day where you go on a different route to go to work. You sit in a different place when you go for your lunch. You talk to somebody new. You know, there's so many different things that you can do which will push you ever so slightly outside of your comfort zone. But it's these little bits, these little pushes that sort of every time you take one and you do something new, it pushes ever so slightly against the walls of your comfort zone. You know, pretend that you've got a bubble surrounding your life, right? A bubble surrounding you, a personal bubble. And, you know, this, this bubble is every time you push against it and you do something outside of your comfort zone, it expands just ever so slightly, right? Because that comfort zone, the discomfort zone that you push yourself into, eventually the comfort zone takes up that space. So your comfort zone gets that little bit wider. Um, and the more you do this for yourself, the wider and bigger that your comfort zone actually gets. So you're doing yourself a big favor in the long run in that you're building trust in yourself that you can do things without having you know, too much fear about it. You know, Everything is gonna have a little bit of fear, but fear is good. Fear is, you know, fear is the thing that actually you know, drives you forward. If you make mistakes, so be it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you're sitting down on your ass and you're doing nothing, you know? And what's the point in that? So that's it from me. Come on over to the website, sign up for our daily newsletter. You'll get a video into your inbox every day and some helpful and useful advice. Until next time, my name's Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Stay safe. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth. Good luck to you. Onwards and upwards. Take care of yourself.